Breaking news, my wonderful people, a religious clergy has shocked Nigerians and is actually praying for the Bokos. It says, may God grant you success in kidnapping President Muhammad Buhari, Erufai, Garubashiu. Please flog them very well in the bush. Islamic preacher prays for terrorists. So my wonderful people, now the matter be that to say, may God help them. They should succeed in this endeavor. Say this man, ah no, no, they must beat them. They must disgrace them, make them wear only boxers, flog them where where. You know, because the suffering they've made people to go through, it cannot be explained. It's beyond words. And so they say, no, 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 no. God must grant them success. So, ah no, 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 no. They must succeed in this endeavor. They must succeed. Let's get all the details. May God grant you success in kidnapping. President Muhammad Buhari. Erufai Garubashiwu. If you do, please flog them very well in the bush. Islamic scholar pray, pray, prays for terrorists. A popular Islamic preacher based in Sokoto State, Shaki Belu Yabal, had prayed that terrorists who threatens to kidnap President Muhammad Buhari, Governor Erufai of Kaduna State and the Senior Special Assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on media and publicity, Malam Garuba Shewu, should be successful in their mission. Praise that God will bring this to come to pass. If this is the only prayer, God will answer. So our reporter said, the clergy Yabo said, who, who said the prayer, why reacting to Garuba Shewu's comment on the terrorist threat. However, appeal to the kidnappers to release the innocent people in their custody. But should go ahead and ensure that President Muhammad Buhari, Erufai and Garuba Shewu are taken in replacement. He insisted the terrorists should free the kidnap Nigerians and top leaders. They should take those ones and ensure that they keep them there because they are doing nothing to save Nigerians. So our reporters earlier reported how Terrorists who adopted passengers of the Kaduna bond train on March the 28, 2022, in a viral video threatening to kidnap the President Muhammad Buhari, Erufai, and some lawmakers if they do not comply with their demands. But Shewu, while reacting to the threat, has said that the terrorist activity using propaganda and the use of violence to force gov government to accept and submit to political demands is not new all over the world. In response to Shewu's statement, the Islamic scholar berated him, saying Shewu, for simple disturbance, for simply describing the threat as a propaganda, the clergy accused Garuba Shewu of being insensitive to the unfortunate plight of those who have been kidnapped. According to the report by Daily Nigeria, Yabo prayed for Shewu to fall into the hands of the same people. I pray that these kidnappers grab Garuba Shewu and demonstrate and demonstrate to him the propaganda. We also pray that these kidnappers may God grant them the success to carry out the trade on the president and also on Erufai so that they can understand what the common man and woman is going through. In response to Shewu's statement, he must be dealt with. They must flog them adequately. We pray that God will grant them their request. If these were the kind of people you have been adopting all this while, we wouldn't have bothered ourselves. We would have in instead pray, bless God, that things are becoming better. Please, when you have them, hold them very well. No amount of demand must, must be enough to release them. So this is what is happening, my wonderful people. The religious clergy says, air will fire you. Eh? Garuba Shewu. Every one of them. They should take them, flog them, eh? and no demand should be enough to release them. In fact, that Garuba Shewu, eh? they should not just flog him, they should hold his mouth and pu push it in and out. And push it very well and ensure that the guy understands the meaning of what he's doing. Okay? Because most of them do not understand the meaning of what they are doing at all, they don't have a clue. They don't have a clue at all. They they are taking it with levity. They are very, you know, whatever is happening to Nigerians. In fact, they are mocking, making a mockery out of Nigerians. Like uh, Nigerians are just being, you know, over dramatic. You don't understand it. You know, when somebody is walking funny, the person wears a shoe and is walking funny, it's easy for you to say, I was wrong with Chabe Wakawe. Because you know why? You don't wear the shoe. When you wear the shoe, you go understand why that person they work out like that. You go take upon yourself to go make sure you get the right shoe for the person. 
You understand? Now, because you know we had issue, so your mat, your mat, the sharp, because you're not, you're not wearing the shoe. By the time that shoes are on your feet, you will see how best you will react. You know, President Muhammad Buhari does not care. And yes, he's encouraging us to, 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 to vote for people that will continue in his legacy. Because what he told us was that uh, the people we continue, well, what they have been saying is not him. They have been saying that they want to, you know, especially people from the same party, we want to continue on Buhari's legacy. Now, if I'm a true Nigerian and I've been seeing what has been going on, one of the legacies about President Muhammad Buhari, which I know very well, is the legacy, of, one of the legacies I know, is the legacy of a destruction of lives and property. Or I don't care attitude. Okay, not listening. Of which this admit of which they started already they, they don't listen they don't want to know what you're thinking your suggestion does not matter is what they have at heart and mind only that's what they do and that's what you're saying you want to continue you want to build upon so it is it is what it is and we are really we are really really looking at it and we are wondering so where do we go from here how do we sort this out what are the what are the things we need to change we need to put in place what do we need to uh, you know support and enhance you know so garubashiu uh, erufai buhari the religious clergy say ah god to answer these people's prayer they say they want these people that these people have been disturbing nigerians that they are the next target you know and this religious clergy is saying they should please that god should answer the prayer let it come to pass for these people they let us see how they will react so they begin to understand what a common man and woman is going through somebody is going on the road eh, or, or, or on the train and these things are happening look at what happened in kaduna do you know as we speak now kaduna is under a siege yes kaduna is under a siege if you go if you if you are if you are coming from diaspora and you're going to nigeria you have to be careful even the cab, you don't just go there and start blabbing, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to this, I'm going to that. You don't know who you are talking to. You don't know who you are talking to. So you have to be extremely, extremely, extremely careful. You don't just wake up one morning and start blabbing. Blah, 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 blah. No, it doesn't work that way. Care is of the essence. Very important. We everybody must begin to pay attention to what matters. Everybody must begin to pay attention and begin to say, ah, is this thing necessary? Should I do this now? What should I put in place? What do I have to do? You know, so these things must be well thought about. These things must be well planned out. So that at the end of the day, you do not see yourself living in a, you know, living in, in a devastation that, you know, you, you, you did not bargain for. Nigeria today, people are traveling and look at what happened. Just on the road, trying to go from point A to point B. Look at what happened. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.